Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights Hands Edition. I'm your host, Lord Fenton. In this new series of Neverwinter Nights modules, we're going to go ahead and do the Witch's Wake, the legendary module that was uh, never finished this series. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Nights content like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so it'll be updated and more. Now, if I remember right, this was released sometime in 2003 to, to uh, 2004. It was originally free, and then it was in the Diamond Edition of Neverwinter Nights when uh, that came out. Now, this has heavy role-playing, and the rest system is totally different. Still, it's a very fun module. Unfortunately, the series has never been completed, so we're going to go ahead and play the Enhanced Edition of The Witch's Wake, which is supposed to be Episode 1. So, let's go ahead and get started creating our character now. Now, let's go ahead and uh, create our character for The Witch's Wake. This is a Level 1 to 3 module. You'll end it at 3. So I'm going to go ahead right now and pick Half Orc. Yeah, that's right. Spoiler alert, the next uh, three or four modules, they're not going to be a fully human character. I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be experimenting. Yeah, I pick Half Orc for uh, one reason. Yeah, I'm going to experiment with a certain uh, class, a certain build I uh, did. I didn't mention this uh, race, but now I'm going to mention it. Yeah, it's, this one's very good for a uh, monk. That's what I'm making. I'm trying to look for a, a Half Orc monk. And I pick, I download these from Steam. So if you ever get a chance on Steam, and you have of course the PC version, go ahead and download this from the workshops. These are wonderful people, including the artists and Mora uh, did these portraits. They're uh, great. So I can't find half orcs. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Bioware one. Yeah, that's right. And let me uh, select that and hit the. Uh, let me make sure I hit the OK. File answer. It's best I can do. Now, this is my Kama Strong Monk build I uh, did, so I'm going to be only doing about three levels of it, maybe two. Depends how far I uh, role play. I'll probably go full tilt, so it's three. Now, since I'm a monk, for a one level, three alignments, lawful neutral. I'm going to try that out. And I'm going to have to adjust uh, what I uh, did. So I'm definitely going to put Intelligence 14, because I need some of those skills. Wisdom 14. Uh, strength 14, yeah, that's going to be up there, so in case I've ever uh, continued this character in other modules, that'll be great. Now, uh, great news is, I believe you could go from uh, 1 to uh, 40 with this uh, module. There's no uh, level resets, no item wipes or anything like that, I don't think. I might be wrong, though. You wait a second, yeah, there is an item wipe, so yeah, do be careful. That's what I'm guessing anyways, because, yeah, you get some uh, set of gear, look like you lose it all, so yeah, that's the downside. Upside is you get a nice rich role playing experience. So I'm going to go ahead and do what my did my build. And I'm doing persuasion. That's very important because this is a very heavy role playing module. So that's the uh, thing there. So I do not have the extra uh, four skill points. So I'm going to have to uh, adjust. So in other words, move silent. Uh, we call it move silently and uh, hide. I'll have to uh, put two points into those because I need tumble. I feel like that is more important for my monk. And there you go. Yeah, my monk's going to be bare. However, I'm just using the fire levels for the feats. I'm doing and by dexterity. I cannot do uh, two weapon fighting at the same time because I only got one feat. Since, again, I'm a half orc, now fully human. And that's that. Now, this module is really heavy in role playing. It is not in the Forgotten Realms. So, yeah, that's the uh, thing, too. That's probably why I didn't do a sequel because uh, after uh, a few of these modules came out, uh, I think it was uh, either Wizards of Coats or Atari or someone else said uh, go for Forgotten Realms from this point on. So yeah, that's unfortunate though because the uh, realm I'm playing this in is really good. It has a nice rich environment and more. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and set up my Half Orc Monk. And by the time this module is over, he'll have two levels in fire, which is fine. And uh, by the way, you do gain experience points, if I remember right, by dialogue instead of combat really. So, talk away, ask away. That's going to be time to do in this uh, series. So, as soon as I uh, pick the voice, there will be a cutscene. And then after that, we're going to arrive somewhere. I'll uh, explain more of that after these two things uh, roll out. So, I'll see you all there, definitely.
and you wince at the brightness of the flames about you. The sounds of battle are loud and close, as if buried within your skull. Blood seeps into the cool ground. You realize that it's yours. With effort, your face turns skyward. The night breeze brushes against your skin, causing you to smile. This might be the most beautiful moment of your life. Your eyes slowly focus on the silhouette above you. You feel a strange calm as you observe the broken body of a man you once called your prince. His eyes, blue and intense, stare into yours. Slowly, the man blinks. Blood pulses from the corner of the prince's lips. His voice is liquid. You must tell the king. He coughs, the pain rolling his eyes back to bear their wings. I know you are. You always were. Eyes closed now, his breathing labored. The broken man continues. Tell the king that she is dead. The prince opens his eyes for the last time, staring into yours. The brilliant blue slowly fades to the color of dull ash. He'll answer no more questions in this life. The world is dark and still beneath your lidded eyes. Your head aches, and your mouth is dry and wooden. You lie there, too sore to move, the prince's voice still echoing from across some distant void. Suddenly, you feel the touch of human hands. They scurry like rats across your body, and you feel a tugging as they reach your finger. The breeze fills with a muttered curse and the scrape of metal.
Now, you had the option to pick whatever ring you want. I picked the uh, iron ring, which was unique, so I decided to hold on to that instead. So, uh, Rag Picker will give you a choice, and also Rag Picker will uh, actually sell you the ring, too. So, there's uh, bodies on the uh, battlefield to uh, actually loot up to save enough gold. And I'll probably advise this throughout the entire video, but here it goes. I would not sell all your items that you find. Just uh, sell the ones that are like components that you're not going to use or you're not going to use anything else. But for now, we see our fallen prince. We're going to go ahead and arm the prince and also uh, get that spear too. I'll return after this is all done. Still haunted by the events of last night, you keep a wary eye on Prince Ahmed's corpse. As the battle had raged around you, he said you were to tell the king that she is dead. If only you knew what that meant. Prince Ahmed's glassy-eyed corpse gazes up at you from the frozen ground. A gaping wound in his chest marks the place where the pike pierced him. A rocky cairn has been erected on the spot where Prince Ahmed died. Mists gather around its base. Now, in this uh, module, if you do anything like that, for example, we are our fallen prince, well, you will uh, get experience points. Yeah, this is heavy on the role playing. That is very great. Now, in this case, I got a free uh, buff too. It's temporary. I probably should do at the time was was, uh, was the very last thing to do was that. But still, I just want to show you all on uh, how to actually uh, get a buff like that once in a while. So we're still looting things up. Loot anything up that you could sell, even if you uh, loot up those uh, ammos. Yeah, that's right. Just give them to 99. They sold for one gold. The uh, rag picker, yeah, she'll buy them for one piece of uh, gold. That's the uh, bad part, but the good part is for now, she's a shopkeeper. And very important, grab this axe. I am dead serious. You're going to need that later on. Still, let's uh, go ahead and put that in the very important page. Yeah, that's the uh, page I'm doing exactly. There you go. So for the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to get a nice discount from the rag picker. Yeah, that's right. Save some money if you have some persuasion. So here it is. The old woman seems content to watch you search through the belongings of your fallen comrades. She hugs herself in the cold air, apparently too weary from her previous efforts to join you. Now, this is the rag picker shop, and it's just uh, basic items, tatter items, nothing real good. Great news about the armor, though. I'm a monk. I get to save some money. And I'm going to go ahead and buy the other one. At the time recording, I probably should have was just went one-handed since this is a very short module. But still, I was having fun playing my uh, build that I made for my monk. I went half work on this one, but still, I want something a bit different. So, I am going to go ahead and loot some things up. On our way to another thing. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, helmet pot. I'll have to read about how to actually uh, make something with that. But since I have no uh, crafting abilities or skills. Yep, yeah, that's right. It's not going to help me big time. Besides, I probably won't be able to use it still. 
I'm going to explore some more, get some more loot. Yeah, it's uh, new player loot, but you know what? That's fine with me. Uh, the last module I was playing is uh, what you call it, high level to an epic, which was good. This is a nice break, though, so we'll loot everything up. Now, uh, coming up is another uh, set of dialogue, which is uh, very neat. I love, so when you uh, check out a certain body, well, that dialogue will uh, definitely uh, pop up. So as soon as I get close to it, I'll let you all listen in on it now. There, amidst the smoking wreckage of this battlefield, lie the corpses of two women. Is one of them the she the prince referred to? What of the countless other women strewn about you? You breathe a heavy sigh. Somewhere, some woman is dead, and you must tell the king. Now, that was uh, important to hear, so let's uh, go ahead and grab some things right now. We'll grab some iron rings, too. Yeah, this is like a crafter's uh, dream, this uh, module. I really uh, like it. I'm going to even say it's uh, better than Unger, uh, Hordes of the Underdark. Yeah, it's uh, much better. Now, Hordes of the Underdark was just a set amount of things there. And that was uh, nice and all, but I want some true crafting. So let's go ahead and check this uh, body too. Okay, no items are gold. That's what's really nice about this uh, module. If there's uh, nothing on the body, it'll uh, tell you. In other words, that means move on. And it looks like there's some more things there. All right. Let's uh, check that out to iron orb. Now that must be important. I guess that's uh, parts for making a mace or uh, something. All right, there's more flags there. And I'm going to try to see what I am definitely uh, missing. And I'm looking around and I'm just uh, making sure. Okay, there's a few uh, bodies there. Oh, wow, there's some highlight. Mm, grab that ch too. That's a chisel, so uh, make sure you hold on to that. We're going to be using that in a uh, few moments. You shiver in the cold. Snow is beginning to drift around the corpse before you. Blood and sweat slowly turning her uniform into a frozen carapace. You're sure of it now. Every last one of them wore black and white, the king's colors, same as you. Stealing your nerves for the dirty task, you approach the dead. Now, that was some uh, very nice dialogue. I'm going to go ahead and do some more uh, looting. Yeah, this is the loot section of the video, everyone. I feel like it's uh, time to grab everything as much as possible. We're starting out, and there's a hand axe, too. All right, they're covering uh, most of the uh, bases. And I guess you uh, craft the rest, and there's a corpse there. Let's see what's there. All right. Okay, you get to also make some uh, traps, too. So if you're a rogue, you love doing that. Yeah, this is the module for you. That's for uh, some of them. You have to find it, though. That's the uh, bad news, everyone. And I think I have enough to uh, get some basic uh, items to uh, buy. And if I want to, I can also uh, craft anything else. Let's see here. Read the Book of Crafting. That's uh, very nice. However, it does cost gold and uh, direct challenge, too. So if you fail, yeah, I believe that gold probably goes bye-bye. So let's uh, go ahead and check anything else out. We'll grab that, too. I got enough uh, strength, though. I'm a half-orc. I'm very strong. Well, decently uh, strong anyways. I'll be much more stronger at level 4 if I get that far in this uh, module. So let's uh, check this uh, body out, too, before I uh, go to Rat Picker and select some of the items. All right, there's a healing kit. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and explain about uh, rest and healing. You'll see it later on in the uh, video. Uh, rest works uh, differently. You don't get fully uh, rested up. At some point, after you're done fully rested, you'll uh, take some damage. Yeah, it makes the uh, game a little more uh, tougher. But still, that's a new thing. I kind of like it. So let's uh, grab some of this, too. I'm going to try to get a stack of exactly, if I remember right, 99 arrows. So this way, I sell them. Yeah, I'm going to need that money, everyone. At this point, I'm going to need all the cash I could grab. Let me make sure I do this the right way. And voila. And I'll grab that too. Ooh, nice, a club. 
some uh, armor and more. Now I'm going to go ahead and interact with the uh, stone and also I'll uh, get the items for it so I'll see you all uh, there. This boulder rises from the ashes of the dead as if suggesting some sort of memorial to the horror that has transpired here. You feel the weight of the stonecutter's chisel within your pack. If only you had something with which to hammer it. The gong's call echoes across the frozen battlefield, startling the gathered crows to flight. The old woman seems content to watch you search through the belongings of your fallen comrades. She hugs herself and... This boulder rises from the ashes of the dead, as if suggesting some sort of memorial to the horror that has transpired here. You take the stonecutter's chisel from your pack and steady your grip upon the hammer. You feel the sudden need to leave your mark upon this grisly place. After making a memorial and looting all the bodies, it is time to definitely go out of here into the next area. So definitely uh, return here if you want to get the rings. The pass opens before you, full of danger and possibility. You make a mental checklist of your scant belongings, hoping you have enough for whatever may lay ahead. These cliffs have the stench of death about them, and a part of you hopes you'll never return to them. All right, I arrived at this uh, area. So the enemies here, with exception of one foe, are not too hard. So uh, do uh, still be careful. Okay, that's a uh, we call elk. I think it's running away from me. That's fine. Now there's a badger. Badger don't notice me. Yeah, I put stuff just to uh, as a starter. That's what I really uh, did. And I think I'm gonna take it out one more hit. Yeah, I should just did this one-handed, but still, it's pretty cool uh, to do that. And there you go. We got it. Now, yeah, you get less experience points by uh, combat. I'll repeat that again. More if you do some exploring and role playing. So, if you're into those, good. If not, yeah. You might not like this uh, module, but for now, I spot some uh, wolf pups. I'm going to go ahead and take both of them out. I'll return. Now, see. All 
All right, I uh, did it. So, uh, by the way, if you uh, could not buy a hammer for the chisel, well, there's a foe that actually has a, a goblin. Now, uh, this goblin looks a little bit wonky and buggy. That's the uh, toughest foe I actually uh, did face up to this point, but still, it was a very uh, fun fight. And uh, do not worry much about death. In fact, you could die once or twice to help you out get you through the uh, module. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and kill this uh, goblin here. Well, I uh, did defeat the goblin. Now, if I would have died, I would have woken up from a nightmare. Now, if I met the uh, certain character, yeah. You have uh, four deaths you could have. After the fourth death, you're basically uh, stuck reloading your save. So, I'm not going to get much hit points, but I'm going to go ahead and do the recap. Now, first thing I did was I show you all how this module starts out. Woke up on the battlefield, looted some items and more. Met Ragpicker, which I'm going to probably get the ring uh, in the next video, the other one. After that, uh, kick some uh, foes butt, including the uh, goblin. In our next uh, Witch's Wake video, we're going to go in that cave. Well, this is it for my first episode of Neverwinter Nights Hands Edition Witch's Wake Part 1 video. This is Lord Fett signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the like button and the bell on the top of your screen. If you enjoy my videos, watch the one I suggested on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion of my videos on the bottom left-hand corner. Thank you for watching, everyone.